Hey singers, I'm Justin Stoney, the founder of New York Vocal Coaching, welcoming you to episode four of Voice Lessons Online. The show where passionate voice teachers from all over the world help us to learn from some of the greatest singers of all time. Today we're studying a singer who's just, well, divine. Kelly is known for her effortless belt, sizzling riffs, soaring vocal range, and good old-fashioned heart and soul. Let's hear from our team of experts about what we can learn from Tori. First, David McCall is here to tell us about Tori's use of neutrality. Hi there, I'm David McCall, and it's my pleasure to be talking about Tori Kelly today. We already know that she's a virtuosic singer. She can sing anything, she can do anything. But one of the skills that I appreciate the most about Tori is her ability to begin at a relaxed neutral. She doesn't hit you over the head with her strongest notes, nor attack you with a bunch of melismas at the very beginning of the song. No, she starts at a nice relaxed neutral. She invites you into the song with her. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth The minor fall and the major lift The baffled king composing After seven years That what he goes there for Is to unlock the door While those around him Criticize and sleep mm. yeah. Now the relaxed neutral Is an ideal way to begin your song However, it has to build And Tori is a master builder Listen to her add some more chest dominant registration to Hallelujah. There's a blaze of light in every word. It doesn't matter what you heard. The holy or the broken Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, intensity doesn't have to be just the addition of chest voice. No, no, no. Listen to her add some more range some more runs, and even some vocal distortion to take crazy to new heights. Starting from a relaxed neutral will revolutionize your singing. First of all, your choices will land. You won't be piling choice on top of choice from the very beginning, which frankly turns everything into noise. Nothing's impressive if everything's impressive. Secondly, your audience will be captivated. We won't be able to take our eyes or ears off of you because we don't know what you're going to do next. And that leads to the third point, when you're not worried about where the song is going, when you've begun at a neutral, you've given yourself room to build, therefore you can say yes to all kinds of new impulses that appear to you while you're performing, either in the studio or live. You'll be able to say, yes, I'll try that riff. Sure, I'll try that other high note, because you're already starting from a relaxed neutral. Back to you, Justin. Awesome, good sir. Next, Casey Velasquez, tell us about Tori's belting. 
Hi everyone, I am so excited to talk about Tori Kelly. She is one of my favorite singers and I'm gonna talk about her incredible belting. Belting is the extension of vocal registers past their native range to achieve powerful high notes. For example, you can drag your chest voice up high when you sing and it would sound kind of like a shout. I'm gonna show you what this type of belting would sound like using Tori's song, Should Have Been Us. It's gonna be kind of loud. It should have been us. Okay, well, you can hear it was nice and loud and it sounded a lot like a shout. This type of belting can be okay for many singers if used in moderation and without pain or strain. However, an other healthier way to belt is by using a chest dominant mix, which includes elements of nasal and head resonance. It also takes some pressure off the vocal folds and just sounds a lot more balanced. Tori has mastered her belting by using her chest dominant mix, so let's take a listen to these next two clips for some amazing belting by Tori. I mean, you can hear her singing these loud, powerful notes, but it doesn't sound like she's yelling, pushing, or straining any of them. We can hear elements of nasal resonance, brightness, and flexibility in that chest dominant mix that help her sing these notes with ease, but again, it just sounds so effortless. You can learn how to develop your chest dominant mix in voice lessons and sing and belt with no pain or strain as well. Well, thank you guys again so much for having me, and I will see you soon. Thanks, Casey. Andy King. What about Tori's collaborative spirit? Hi everyone, my name is Andy King and I have the pleasure of talking about Tori Kelly and music collaboration. I want to start with this question. What's better than one musician playing music? Hmm. Yes, two musicians playing music. There are two possible situations you might find yourself in that I want to bring your attention to. First, I want to show you a clip of Tori Kelly collaborating with Dan and Shay. Don't play the strings the same way. Yeah. I know you will still love me the same. So can never grow. Not only can you see their connection, you can also feel the energy between them all. They're enjoying each other's company, they're smiling at each other, they're harmonizing together. It's pretty palpable, right? Next, let's look at an example where it's only singers connecting. Here's a clip with Tori Kelly and Shoshana Bean singing to each other and with each other. Reminds her to fight just a little to bring back the fire in her eyes. Yeah, yeah. That's been gone, but she used to be mine. She used to be mine. Here in this clip, we've got two absolutely bonkers vocalists who are both overtaken with each other's skills and voices. There's a joy you can feel between them. There's a lightness. There's a connection, even though they aren't physically together. When I'm with my singers, or even collaborating myself, I remind them and myself that the key is openness. We want to stay open to, to the other person's gifts. We want to stay open to the other person's ideas. We want to stay open to the other person's creativity. We want to stay open to what might become available to us as we collaborate. So I leave you with this challenge. Right now, yes, now, who can you collaborate with? Find a friend, find someone online, find someone at your church, at your school. Do it and do it now. You have nothing to lose. And as we saw from the two short clips of Tori Kelly with other musicians, collaboration is not only going to sharpen your skills as a musician, it's going to be a whole lot more fun. So cool. Now, Arbender Robinson, tell us about Tori and how she inhabits the performance. 
Hello, hello, hello. So, uh, artists, musicians, music lovers, we're gonna take a peek at a video that uh, that is the epitome of what I call singing or living inside of the music. So now we've gone beyond voice lessons, we've gone beyond coachings, and now we're just in performance mode. So everything that we do in that performance uh, helps to uh, justify or helps to give value to what we're doing musically. So we're gonna watch this clip and in 30 seconds or less, we're gonna see gestures, we're gonna see hand movements, we're gonna see body position, we're gonna see slow or fast movements, we're gonna see shifts in the body that completely accent all of these wonderful things that are happening in the music and they tell the audience exactly what they're supposed to listen to, exactly how they're supposed to feel and it really tells us what uh, the song is all about or what the energy of the song is all about. So enjoy these 30 seconds of someone living inside of the music and putting on what I think is a spectacular setup for a wonderful song. Check it out. Walking around with my head down, but I can't hide with these high heels on. Out town in the thick crowd, but it's just you that my mind is on. Dressed up, got my heart messed up. You got yours and I got mine. Uh, it's unfair that I still care, and I wonder where you are tonight. Thinking it could be different. Maybe we missed it. Yeah, thinking it could be different. It could. Thanks, Arbender, and thanks to our team of experts. I'm going to share in a moment what I've learned from Tori, but first, here are some more ways to go deeper on your vocal journey. To get to know our team of experts, please visit us at voicelessonsonline.com. Sing Like Never Before is the new book by Justin Stoney. Get ready for a singing book that is truly like no other. For more information, visit singlikeneverbefore.com. If you'd like a vocal course that you can do at home, check out the Voice Lessons to the World Vocal Course. This 12-part program takes you on a singing journey from beginner to master level vocal exercises. You can find it at voicelessonstotheworld.com. Or if you'd like free vocal tips sent to you each day, sign up at dailyvocaltips.com. Well, saying almost anything about Tori Kelly's singing is a challenge. Because, I mean, how can it get much better than this? Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> or this. There'll never be peace between you and me. God, your love is the cure for the rich and the poor. God, please, will you open our eyes? Cause I want to love so high. But it actually does get better than this. Because for Tori, there's something greater than music. Now, I've been coaching singers through the music industry for many years, and let me tell you, it can be a rough place. How can we survive its slings and arrows? Well, we've got to have something greater than singing that drives us. For Tori, it's her faith. My faith is everything to me. Um, I did grow up in the church, but I think maybe like some other people um, who grew up in the church, you kind of get to a point where your faith really becomes your own. And it's not about what your parents say or what they believe, but it's really like, oh no, this is real to me. I've experienced the presence of God. And like, I know that this is uh, my own faith. Now, regardless of what we believe, that takes serious guts. To be in an industry that many times asks us to compromise and say, you know what? Whether I'm famous or a flop, at the end of the day, I have something greater that nobody can take from me. Now that's real star power. Thank you, Tori, for shining such a bright light into the world. We'll see you next time for more Voice Lessons Online.